y'all and we're back with another video say cheese say hi say hi oh, oh, oh. this is how you say hey y'all say hi <laughs> so today we're back and first of all if you guys are not already subscribed babe go subscribe okay because y'all are gonna love it here but today i am doing a prank on amora because i did say i wanted to start getting her and i kind of have mixed emotions about this prank because i honestly just don't do not know how she's gonna react okay and i hope that she doesn't start crying i don't know but we're gonna see so yeah but i've seen a couple of people do this prank on their kid and i was like oh let me see because the more is always saying how amir gets on her nerves she acts like he's already just getting at her stuff you know all of this crazy stuff so we're gonna see how she reacts to me telling her that we're giving him up for adoption but we're not giving you up Kenya. we're not giving you up stinky man we're not oh yeah let's get my baby's reaction and um, so I'm gonna make it seem like we're making an announcement to the vlog and to everybody just to see what her reaction is like on camera. So give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get get get. So yeah, let's go get her reaction, y'all. All right, come on, Mora. I gotta tell you a surprise. The big news. You ready to tell the big news, Fat Man? You ready? You guys, I had a big news. And we got to tell the vlog too, so I say, hey, we're going to tell them the big, big, big news, okay? All right, so what you going to say? Is it a boy or a girl? I'm going to be mad. What Am I serious? Okay, so do we ever get on your nerves? Yes, he does. So this way. What? I'm going to give him up for adoption. What? Come here. Amora. Come here. We gotta talk about it. Why? Do you know what adoption is? No. Sit down so I can tell you. Why you just walked out like that? Because I didn't want to know So you gotta ask me what it meant. So basically he's we're giving him away to another family. Are you excited? No. Why? You still need to get on your nerves. So we already have the mom and the dad picked out. They're, they seem really nice. They stay in Texas. And he's moving with them. And he they have another little girl. She's going to be his sister. And yeah, he's getting adopted. <laughs> so you can stop getting on your nerves. Okay. No. And we're about to go give him away now. No. So we got to pack his stuff. No. What you mean, though? I don't want him to go away. But you say he get on your nerves. Sometimes he does it. Sometimes he does. <laughs> so, the family waiting, though. I already told them. We signed the papers. And they Mommy, taking him. No. Okay, bye-bye. Mm, I want him to stay. So, vlog, we are giving Amir away for adoption. No. And we're about to go give him away now. And no. she... You can see him like once a year. No. And his other little sister, like seven, so she'll send you some pictures of him. But no, I don't want to see pictures. I want him now. More and more, he already he getting adopted. No, he's not. He has a whole new family now. A whole I new thought mom. Just, I thought he was just gonna stay. I thought it was uh, a, a big surprise for me. This is a big surprise because no, you said he get on your nerves. No, like stuff. Like I stuff didn't like know that it was going to be like this. Well, the surprise is he's getting adopted. The surprise is not. Well, come on. We got to pack his stuff up. I'm more at, we got to pack his stuff up. Are, no. Aren't you happy? No. You just move my hand away? You going to miss him? I am, but I want him to stay. Well, more he has a new family now. We're not going to see him no more. You heard me? Yep. Um, can you pass my phone so I can call mama? No. So I can tell her? More. Oh, 
I'm just playing. <laughs> it's a party. We, your brother not going nowhere. We're a family forever, okay? I promise. I promise. I promise. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Amora, it's a prank. Do you really love your brother? You do? You don't want to give him away? Even when he get on your nerves? You don't want to give him away even when he get on your nerves? So how you feel? I mean, we're not giving him away. He don't want to Amir. Now his sister loves him, okay? She is not playing. I love you. Never feel bad. Ready to go take our walk? Come on. Hey, my baby. So this is a mini chit chat in the car while I smack on this hibachi rice, okay? So I love this place, y'all. It's a place called Ichiban, which my friend tried to put me on. She been told me about this spot. But it sounded kind of weird to me, so I never just went and got it. Like, Ichiban just did not sit right with me, y'all. Oh, my God. Look at the slam. I look a little uneven. But, mm. so guess what, y'all? Your girl is going to be on the next season of BMF. God is so good. Literally so good, y'all. Um, It feels amazing booking roles, like, if you're in the acting field and you know how it is, like, sending them self-tapes in, y'all, it's such a blessing. It's so exciting booking roles, literally. Mm. But I did audition for this role probably, like, last month. Well, not even last month. Probably, like, three weeks ago. So, almost a month ago. And I honestly just didn't think I got it because I didn't hear anything back. But... I heard something back yesterday. Let me pick up my phone. But I heard something back yesterday, and I actually ended up filming today, this morning. So I've been up since 7 this morning, y'all. Oh, my God. I went crazy, y'all. Just finding out that I had got that raw. I went crazy. And it made me want to book more things. So I'm definitely blessed. I'm definitely looking forward to more roles. And I'm excited. So make sure that y'all tune in and y'all catch me on that. And they also have the oath, which is that show that I was on with Christina Million on Tubi now. So it was on Crackle. It's a 50 cent show. But Tubi just picked it up. So make sure that you guys go tune in, tune in, tune in. Okay. My eyes look so swollen and it's making my face look crazy because I had lash extensions on and they literally had to take them off. <laughs> Yeah, they had to take them off, y'all. So, I was so hurt. I said, what y'all mean? I got to take my lashes off, y'all. This is a fresh set. I got my lashes done two days ago, baby. I was ready to go to war about my lashes. But, yeah. So, anyways, I just want to come on here to tell y'all, cut those people off. Cut off dead weight in your life. Because I promise, if you keep holding on to things and people that don't mean you no good and they literally have no soul purpose in your life, you will not elevate. You will literally stay in the same place that you are in. And I cannot stress that enough. Like, y'all, I have witnessed so many times and God showed me. So I know for a fact this is a confirmation. But I was still holding on to people that basically I knew. Like, he put it in my face. Like, cut them off. But in my head, I'm like, nah, no. I'm still going to keep them around or whatever. Yeah, okay. Guess what? Them blessings did not come at all but every time like i did cut them off or whatever that's when blessings started to come and then when i would probably um start back talking to them or start back like you know engaging them in my circle and in my in my energy guess what baby them blessings was stopping so it's literally confirmation like y'all you cannot like y'all god does not want certain blessings and look i don't mean to go all preacher and preacher mode on y'all but it's so true like god literally does not want to but God literally does not want to bless you when you have somebody tied to you that does not deserve your blessings. Like, God does not want them to go to places that you're about to go. God does not want those blessings to... God does not want them to reap your blessings because he heard conversations that you didn't hear. He knows things that you probably don't know and that will break your heart about this person. So, 
I literally trust the process and like now y'all it's just like whatever is meant for me is gonna come like I used to be that person I would stress when things went left or when I did fall out with somebody that I truly cared about but y'all like everything happens for a reason it is nothing now that will make me stress that shit like at all because at the end of the day I know that everything happens for a reason like I said and whoever is meant to be in your life is gonna happen you know even if you just broke up with somebody for example don't stress it because guess what if they're meant to be in your life if this person is meant to be your husband or your or your wife it's gonna happen they're gonna come back okay if not guess what somebody else is meant to be in your life or god just got a different plan for you simple so life gets way easier when you just stop stressing so much about things that you cannot control you cannot control people's feelings people's emotions how people feel about you their choices so you really just gotta leave things alone y'all so your blessings can flow in and so you can stay blessed but i love y'all so much um make sure y'all catch me on bmf okay and i love y'all Oh, let me know what other pranks y'all want to see because I definitely want to start getting them more and more. And I feel like this prank wasn't as funny because my baby started crying. I, I honestly didn't know what her reaction was going to be. But um, it goes to show me that she really loves her brother and she's going to worry about him. Even though he does get on her nerves, my baby does love him a lot. And I feel like it's hard for kids to sometimes adjust to their younger siblings. So I'm happy to see that she love him. But yeah, I love y'all. And let me know what y'all want to see next. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. I might just come see you today. Cause I know that you miss me. Cause I know that you miss me.